good afternoon for Club Walking Back Channel and welcome back to FS News. It's about time we get back to some regular news videos, right? Everything been is about Farming Simulator 25, which I am pumped for. Seeing a lot of hype for FS22 and then, of course, I am seeing some negative about it. Just remember, yesterday's news was just the beginning. More news and features will come out in the coming weeks and, of course, at FarmCon, which is about in two weeks. Also, I've been playing Farming Simulator for a long time, since FS11, and I've always been happy with the next iteration of Farming Simulator, because I remember people complaining about FS22, and guess what? As soon as FS22 came out, everybody switched over to FS22. Uh, I tried going back to FS19, and no, I will not do that ever again. I'm pretty sure the same thing is going to happen with FS25. When people actually get into FS25, they are not going to want to get into FS22 anymore. But anyways, it is Wednesday and let's get to some regular news. Today, I'll be going over Case Aries JNM cards, plus got some news on the GMC 7500. Now for today, so far at the time of recording, there is no testing list. Of course, if one does come out later, it will be posted on our club's Discord. Question of the day. What are you hyped for that was announced with the new Farming Simulator 25? Mine is the weather effects and the fog. Please, please have lightning storms and more dynamic weather. Okay, let's start this news video off right with a 400 likes. So if you are pumped for the new Farming Simulator, smash that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's get to this news. Putting on the greatest shows, so make sure that you don't miss out. Welcome back, and here we go with that first piece of news for today. And it's actually some bad news. Blackstream modding is the old stream farm expansion that, of course, I did an early look, which if you guys have not taken a look at that, make sure you guys do. It is on the channel. But anyways, it did come back to them after six days of PC testing, and it did fail. They already made a few small corrections to be able to start the console test and it has already been sent back for further testing. This will be coming soon to all platforms. So hopefully it skips that PC testing side and just goes right to console and hopefully it releases before the end of this week. Next, we have a small update from Guy and FS about his Mossy Ferguson 7700. Well, anyways, here is some images of how the model is currently. It is now currently in the texturing phases and it's looking really good. I know Lee is definitely gonna love this thing right here. I'm just just got to make sure that I actually put it on our server or else I'm going to be hearing about it every single day. Next, we have some good news from our good friend, Classic American Icons Modding. They have now a bit of a surprise revealing the first picks of the small frame series 3 360 Big Buds that will be coming along with the extra large frame 650 Big Buds. And these are looking really good. And this will be coming out to all platforms. Like I've said before, I need to start actually using more Big Buds. I just really haven't found a map. I think actually Monda Seeds is definitely going to be, sorry, Weimar Canada is definitely going to be that map. Okay, then after that one, we have some news from Case Aries. Of course, in yesterday's Farming Simulator 25 cinematic trailer, we did see a JNM card. Well, guess what? Case Aries is making an 875 JNM card that will be coming out to all platforms. The 875 green card is almost ready for the mod -up. Most of the features have also been added. It says JNM is not licensed. At least it's not licensed in FS22. It is licensed in FS25. He says he's thought of putting the L and Z brand. Maybe it is something fictitious that emulates the real logo instead of just lizard he don't know if that is actually allowed but he is going to try some of the features of this of course will be three different decal styles color configuration bin extension color configuration midas bkt michelin continental and lizard tire configurations and pipe or grain door unloading possibility after that, we have a little bit of an update from actually said modding about his Gleaner Harvester. This is just a small update. Remember, this mod is coming to all platforms. But anyways, he says he wants to inform us that the Gleaner will probably be available to us in July. So big news right there. And currently, the estimated completion is about 95%. This is the Harvester I've been waiting for since FS19. And I'm very excited that it's going to be coming out to all platforms very soon. And something else I am very excited for to come to all platforms soon is this from Sloosh Modding, which is actually our last piece of news to go over for today. This is the GMC 7500. This is a mod that is actually in development for all platforms. And it's looking like it's getting closer and closer to being done. 
And there you have it right there. There was all the news for today. Some pretty good news. I'm very excited, of course, for that Gleaner and the GMC. Now, today's schedule, we do have a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, which, of course, tonight will actually be on Construction Simulator. We will not be on Farming Simulator. So hopefully I see every single one of you guys in there. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. To drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart.